Hey guys, Tyra up here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Belgorod. Playing for today's morning on the right, we have McDuff. I believe this is Teddy McFluff playing as Soviets, who locks into airborne troops immediately. Teaming up with him is Koma, who uh, also is playing as Soviets. Has shock motor heavy, guard rifle combined arms, and airborne troops. From the left hand side, we have Sully playing as OKW, who has breakthrough, elite armored, and Overwatch and finally Soma is also here, who has Storm, Fortified Armor and Strategic Reserves. In terms of rankings here, random team on both sides, both the allies are around rank 100. Uh, Sully is around rank 30 and Soma about 190. So this is my first cast of coming back from GCS3. And basically uh, decided to skip the rest of the replays that were submitted to me during April because I'm just getting way too far behind my replay queue. And you know the ranks were getting like way off base compared to what they were when the games were actually played and getting hidden and stuff with players going inactive. So sorry if you guys sent me a replay during April, but I'm not going to be uh, casting those. So here we are in May now, starting with these replays. <laughs> We're about a bit over a month behind now, that's good. So we're a double Sturm Pio start for Sully. Seeing a bit more of that in 2v2 lately. Heavy cover. Conscript's holding out for quite a long time though. Molotov out, and we can well for the conscripts. Here come the reinforcements though, Grandy is about to get overwhelmed. Nice early sweeping there from Sully. Try to crawl out with that squad of conscripts, but the MG does usually get everything suppressed, allows the squad to close in pretty safely. The squad actually came out of suppression though, crawling away. Enough to force back those stern piles. Around the corner, a lot of models could be dropping shortly for Teddy, and he's going for healing now. Went for the fourth conscript, as you often see with the airborne troops. And Sully operating on the other side of the map with this Kubo. Interesting. Surprise eventually get forced away by the mass of conscripts. Machine gun switched over. Focused on the cutoff at the moment. Feels like the double Soviets are about to take a boatload of manpower losses. Both of them going for the same commander as well. Coming up with the Kubel down here now also. Conscripts. Oh, managed to get in there from Molotov. And that does force away the machine gun for Soma. The squad though, getting bullied by the squad inside the building. Could have a bit of a dicey retreat path. Getting back there as well, LMG's coming in. We'll survive I think, might drop one more model though. So Kokomo was floating quite a lot of manpower, investing into some tech now. But uh, operating one squad down, did I lose a squad? No. I do have the uh, overlay running, but I thought maybe I just didn't see it, you know, being a bit rusty. Okay, here comes the Stern Pies again. Enemy forces are attempting to capture oh, look at this map control at the moment for the axe, it's just overwhelming. Not quite at two command points yet, so I can't stop here dropping in those weapons, so... Push back a bit more strongly. And it's kind of up in the air, you know. I think a lot of players still do go for the flamer on the combat engineer, even with the four conscript start. I think it just depends on your positioning. Some grenade forces them away. Could drop a lot of models from these conscript squads. We've got the 222 coming in at a very fast timing for Soma as well. This is an extremely fast 222. You only go for two grenadiers as well. 
Yeah, okay, this, you don't see that too often, but it's actually working out pretty well for the Axis so far. And yeah, this is a bit of a nightmare start for the Allies. Neither of these commanders have guards, so you can't really just like drop a squad of those in and help fight back. And uh, Koma actually investing into a Maxim, which is very strange. We have the uh, disc available on this commander. Usually you just can't really get away with Maxim at this timing either. It's generally when you're up against 222, so you need to invest in either anti-tank or be pushing resources towards your own tech. So a, a maximum at this timing basically never works. The disc is a little bit better because at least it, with its high armor piercing can force back the 222. Especially if there's a building around it can be a pretty decent option but yeah not the maxim. But here we go, a big old blob coming through. Gonna regather a bunch of territory. damage there. But yeah, such a strong stuff. The X. We actually got mechanized coming in for Sally. You don't see that too often these days and going for a looks. But you know, maybe getting this uh, a little bit late, you can see from the uh, tech timings. Went for uh, three fault screeners after all of that as well. So it's kind of like we've gone for one extra unit. It's hurt his manpower and that does hurt his light vehicle timing. into the building, we're gonna recover from suppression. I think it's like 50 times faster when you're inside a building, right? So just been a couple of seconds in there, should be good to go. Now Maxim getting flanked. It's a lot of damage, but nice to retreat there from Sully. Knows that he could potentially go down on retreat. Getting out of there early on. Here comes the looks, but you can see you know, pretty late on the timing. Could have got this out close to a minute and a half earlier. And, uh, Duff just surging forwards with that blob. You know, overwhelm, outnumber. Won't have a good option against the uh, looks. So he does have anti tank grenades ticked and. Uh, in the back of perhaps seeing the looks starts producing that anti-tank gun. So the rifle right didn't hit too much there. Here comes the Zis of Coma, slightly out of range, coming forwards a bit more. Connecting once. Picking up. Maybe we're going to switch over to a potential machine gun Zis barrage, but happening yet. Here comes LNG Grenadier as well. Finally making a bit of a breakout in the north. Got the tech down as well. In fact, McDuff gonna go for a double this at this timing. It's just a touch unusual. It does have his tier 3 up. At the, so like if you want to go for a double support weapons, delay your light vehicle. You should probably do that before putting down your tier 3. So maybe a slight Misevaluation on the game's situation. Anti tank gun is ready for action. Supply sector under attack. It looks like uh, the control in the north not going to last very long for the Allies. Is this miss or did it just not fire there? Picked it up, setting it up. Missing again. Must must have been not fire, right? Because he packed up quite quickly. You'd expect it to have to take longer to reload before firing over there. So I must have just not quite fired. Cable gone into uh, detection mode now. But here we go. Combo making a bit of a push down the bottom. Hasn't managed to save enough munitions for any SVTs, so it's really hurting 
the allies of this timing, you know, you kind of rely on these SVT conscripts to give you a lot of pressure in the early game. But if you can't afford them because you're so low on munitions, it really makes this commander a, a lot less valuable. Coming in from a different angle, trying to stay away from that anti tank gun. McDuff, though, backing away, trying to base it into range. And bow shots miss. Man, pretty bad luck from the anti tank gun so far. Oh, let retreat, though, for Soma, and down goes the pyre. I think that's the first wipe of the game. Big concussive grenade out there. Double this barrage as well. Another concussive grenade. Duff. Kind of delaying the retreat on these. Trying to keep these anti tank guns safe so they don't get focused in the meantime. But okay, there we go. Good work from Coma coming in from the side. Getting the sneer off. Well, anti tank guns do get away alive. Still a very rough start for the Allies. T70 in the works for McDuff. Did see uh, Coma go for the Airborne Guards. Doesn't have the munitions to go for the LMGs, so it's going to be PPSH on them. Two has been out for a pierce for quite some time. Here come the pious. Is that a rebuild or did he just happen to build a second squad recently? I'm not sure. Detection mode. He saw them coming on the attack map, I guess, and pulled back with that Kubel. So he's going to try hide behind these barrels. I don't know if that's going to work too well. And there's T70, sandbags, okay, there they go. Cleared off and... Now looking to regather territory control. We do have a uh, battle group up. So I'm going to build a bunker over here, but... So we're going for both stages of tech early. Going for a Rakesan next. You can see the axis though, very comfortable for fuel. Not really an obstacle for them at the moment. Tier 4 straight away for Soma. Wow. Okay. To take on this. Having trouble for McDuff. Can't get into range there. Okay, a bit of smoke out. From a, a mortar up here from Soma, okay, so not really expected. T70 forcing back the looks. Just attention to the machine gun next. Big damage from the Zis. Big double Zis barrage. Machine gun does survive though. Could potentially have merged that conscript into the Zis before retreating it, but not a huge deal. So allies about to tick under 250 here and they're going to be facing some big boy tanks shortly. Soma just about build whatever he wants. He's building a command tank though, it's, that's a strange choice. I was expecting a Brumbeer, this like super super early timing. How would the allies deal with that? Very very hard to handle but Coma having skipped a light vehicle. Not too far away from a T-34. And the command tank you know, doesn't have a particularly good matchup against the regular T-34, so might actually work out alright for coming down the bottom there. Okay, one connection. Valvet 2 on that 2G2, there he goes. 
PSH is charging in. We can't play enough for Soma. Late T gun sitting up, but not gonna get any damage done. How did that get decrewed all the way over there? I guess it was from the PPSH guards. Double AT grenades. Oh, where's the second one? He cancelled it. And now a bit of crush action from Soma. Big damage. Can smoke on this one now. He's going to go for the steel on the AT gun. And is this going to connect for an extra shot? Maybe two? Not quite. get away with this anti-tank gun now. Looks applying the pressure. Double anti-tank gun's rolling up for McDuff. Could find an angle. Looks anti-tank gun spins around. Big damage. Is this the end of the looks? Ooh, this one decrewed. This one doesn't quite get the shot off. Clears the arc in the nick of time. Wow. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty close call for Sully there. Almost lost that. Will the allies be able to hold on to this pack though? That's a big question. Can flank a little bit at the moment. Double rifle these onto the machine gun. Looks like they're going to just kill it off. Oh boy, now could lose a machine gun though on retreat. No, nope, Grandy's not going to focus it down. Pretty good fortune there for Coma. She camped down the bottom. Pigreens ran forwards. Maybe they ran over. Okay, they ran to the machine gun down there. Valve's gonna connect. No, nope, he cancelled just before they fired it. I think it was okay, you know. Try to slow down the T70 a bit more, but sides against it. Got plenty of munitions, so you know, firing a Faust not a big deal. So I'm at. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. No, nope, here we go. One mine. The second one up there as well. It looks like he's backing right towards it. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Big mines from McDuff and that out. Uh oh. So this tank gets in trouble immediately. Fox readers go down to the conscripts. Okay, come on, tank actually getting some penetrating hits in here. Uh oh. Is that T34 one shot at the moment? Oh, but command tank is baited in. Very good reaction times with the smoke fight out of that. But now some trouble with the parving. Ooh, what? Killed that Zis from the north. Command tank goes down. I think he kind of got baited in there by Command tank actually getting a few penetrating hits. So go ahead and can finish the job here. One more shot on this T-34 is dead, but it didn't really work out that way. I forget how much penetration that command tank has. I don't think it's very good, though. And now, kind of the allies back in the game, you know, the, hitting the medium tank timings. And they've uh, steadied the ship. Didn't drain much below that 250 mark either. Done a lot better on the victory points as of late, so... Shocking start for the allies, but now they're right in there. They've got the seven-man conscripts coming online. Good for the late game durability. They've steered things out a lot. Sully uh, got his tick up now, going for a Panzer IV. But yeah, definitely slower, you know, going for the mechanized looks. The battle group side tick as well, costing uh, quite a lot, slowing Sully down. If you hit that medium tank at like a faster timing. 
be completely different, but at the same time would be bleeding a lot more manpower, so he's in it for the long run. Damage getting sprinkled in here by the 222. Is the uh, Panzer IV connecting once? He's going in as well with the double anti tank guns a little bit out of position. One more shot to see me backing around the corner though. Panzer IV not bold enough to go around that corner. Sully dropping in the planes here. Oh, the big damage onto the rear armor raquette and partial connection, I think. Here goes the Panzer IV, but T-34 also falling. T-70's up here getting spotted. If the anti-tank planes come through and finish the job. On the T-70, it's probably okay for Sully, but either way, that was... Not ideal. It looks like the T-70 isn't going to go down, so that ends up being a pretty horrible trade for Sully. Much more expensive Panzer IV for that T-34. Oh, there, okay, there we go. Salvaging it somewhat, knocking out Coma's T-34 as well. Oh, and the T-70 does go down all the way back here. Maybe the uh, recon pass from uh, Soma spotting us. I thought he was well out of range, but I didn't account for that uh, recon plane providing the sight. Okay, so it actually, you know, as the dust settles, becomes quite good for the Axis in the end. Three quarters constructed cash here for Macduff. It's killed. And now I've got the Brumbeer from Soma. I think that's a pretty good idea overall. Chusher action into the center. Two kills. He's on the board. But it's a bit rough going for Kachusha at this stage. It's going to one this. Could be very hard to deal with the Brumbeer thanks to that. Big ol' hit there. The territory is out of contact. I was maybe forgotten about by Soma and they go down. And uh, engine crit on this now as well. And they're dropping in the planes. And from the side angle though, don't do any damage. Much easier to dodge those planes, you know, close to the center of the map like that. Gives you plenty of time to get out of the way. Ooh, good reaction from Coma though. Quick on the retreat. Okay, Bombay getting repaired up, and so we're gonna go for a whiff after that as well. I think that makes a lot of sense. Build on the T-34 for McDuff. Sully's still a, a very long way away from his next tank. Seems like he's starting to struggle. He hasn't gone for it. Weapon upgrades on his fault screen it is, so... It feels like they're getting bullied quite badly by these conscripts now. Gone for like a Ye late Jaeger light. Uh-oh, no dodge on these Kachusha rockets. At all. Goes one green here. Seems like Soma may be getting a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. So losing his MG34. This is all of a sudden going quite poorly for the Axis. Maybe, you know, making mistakes in their ticking, not really following up their strong start with strong medium attacks. And now. Pretty even, you can see army sizes 
add up to be quite similar between the two teams. They're coming in for a big old shot there. Just hoping to get the engine crit and not able to do so. She got another barrage in. Oh no, that we saw that, right? It's on the green, he's in the middle. So yeah, now it's all of a sudden looking pretty good for the Allies after such a terrible start. They had very little territory control for the first like eight minutes. We're right back in it now. Um, still has quite a lot of manpower, maybe could rebuild the yeah, greedies that he lost. Provide a bit more capping power. Tremendous suppression in there from the machine gun. There goes Sully. Trying to wipe these on retreat with the Gachusha. Decent damage. One kill though. Ooh. Ooh. I think he was targeting the machine gun with that Werfer. That gets out of there cleanly with the conscript retreating into the rockets. Nasty hit. Well, speaking of rockets going after the 2G2, but Soma are able to dodge away from that. There we go, Kubel goes down up in the north. Get caught on the VP flag here. Close range Kachusha barrage though. Looking to punish. Close. Cool. Coming out of there very low indeed. Hoping to finish the job, Uraring in, but just out of range. We'll be at V1 now as well. Could start unleashing those bunker busting barrages. Some gets D crew jumping back on it. Bundle grenades, hoping to decrew it once again. But it seemed like, yeah, that last model was all the way over here, so that grenade barely did anything, really. Knocked out one model that was close to the gun. Bad value from it. Here the use of the recon plane from Soma, though. It's kind of interesting to see. Mainly using it on the uh, northern side of the map as well, not really in the south at all so far, I don't think. That room there, why did he just use the smoke? It's gonna be nasty. Okay. Decent, but not incredible. He's already five down the bottom now, so the broom beer. A much harder time of things. This is taking quite a long time to fire. Do you have the 222 there providing some sight though? Brumby coming down. Here is that pack. Quite far away. You really should be using it right next to the Brumby. Oh, here we go. Planes called in up in the north. So T-34 went for a ram, but didn't connect. So his engine's cooked. Let's take plays. Don't quite finish him off, but the Panther comes in for one final shot. Good catch. barrage out the back, though. The kid decrewed and Sturmpire's down. Two coming in from the other side, acting as a distraction, but there we go. It's ready five rotates from the bottom, comes in for some big damage. Maybe it could be up next. And now the Axis have been draining out on the VPs for a long time. Heck, decrewed up there. 
barrage onto these support weapons. Oh, he's using the creeping barrage as well. So quite a lot of usage of that uh, during the GC3 tournament. I think especially, uh, you know, at these ranks where players are quite quick to dodge. Using the creeping barrage can kind of catch them off guard, you know, they pull back a reasonable amount. Maybe you're barraging here and then they pull back to here. Maybe you just keep letting the creeping barrage creep and eventually hits them. They don't expect it. Don't expect to have to dodge that far back. The squad of pioneers has arrived. They're not paying attention to uh, the rockets creeping forwards, which, you know, they might not after they clear the area initially. Can work out pretty well. There we go, Bunker Buster. Nearly decroying the machine gun, but the C-35s there. Another Katusha coming in for Coma as well. I still have to be a little bit cautious with that Panther running around. We'll find them out the back, and uh, Sully going for an LEFH here. Cannot get countered by uh, bombing strikes. The allies don't have those, but they're also not going for a walking Stuka. Zero has mechanized down. Which feels generally better than the howitzers. He desperately wants that howitzer to be finished because his HQ is under a lot of pressure right now. Stempires finish it off. He's, he's rotating it? No, he's firing with it. Stempires didn't come over here to repair it up though. The uh, Werfer coming down, got the Howitzer coming down, the tech truck does die. Oof! Oh boy! Couple big hits there though from the Howitzer and the Werfer. Panther coming in from the side as well, h 35 is on focus sight mode, takes some Howitzer fire, that could go down now as well. Panther coming in on the flank. E4, not really there to support. The uh, command tank again from Soma, that finishes the job on the SU-85. Sokoma getting a big kill here, but <laughs> getting blasted himself, and the Panther's going in. He's hunting down these Kachushas. They're pretty spread out at the moment. Might be able to catch this one out the back. Can't find it currently. Kachusha way off to the side as well. Could really do with a recon plan for Soma, but there's random teams. Maybe not the best coordination on those abilities. Activating. Panther has to give up the attack. But yeah, VPs are close to even now. In the time that the allies have drained off close to 300. From the uh, Axis, they themselves have only lost about 10, so it shows how much trouble the Axis have been in lately. Sully now probably has to go for the King Tiger since he's lost his truck. So meanwhile still floating uh, quite a lot of manpower. He has rebuilt one of his Grenadiers but still could do with a little bit more infantry I feel. Big double Zish Barrage got some mortar hits coming in as well on these Grenadiers. Finishing off the... Uh, Decrude support weapons there as well. Okay, LFH. A lot of health damage there. Didn't really get a kill. And now the Kachushas could be in a bit of trouble with the uh, scatter going down. Flare doing some spotting. Double Kachush is ripping in. There goes the pack. Machine gun in some trouble. That also gets decrews. Big losses for Soma. It's just branching out, trying to go for the cap down here. Humble is down here as well. Should be able to clear off this machine gun very quickly. A little bit low on muni, so maybe doesn't want to use the bunker busting barrage. Understandable. And hold fire as well, so. Didn't shoot at all. Oof. 
worth a died up here. Guess into one of these T-34s. Panther nearly went down as well. Seems like Soma's kind of uh, trying to play, you know, across such a wide front, but seems to get himself in a lot of trouble doing that. Quite often he's like losing units or not controlling them effectively because he's uh, so spread out at the moment. Rebuilds the worth of though. from the boom there before backing out. No, he's going to go for another one. And gets the wipe because of it. No reaction from McDuff. Going to apply some pressure to the howitzer now. Could be complaining out for Soma. And he's down for Soma in the south as well. action there. But still, it's the uh, allies in control of the victory points at this stage. Axis now about 30 points behind. They're in some trouble. Got the double Kachushas. to the south. Again, Macduff making a bit of a push, but the Panthers there gets an engine crit off. Do we have double anti-tank guns waiting back there though, so can't chase them too far to finish this off. But the Howitzer are coming down now as well though. Brumby coming in from the side also. Houts is actually getting some pretty good connections. The Brumbeer looking to finish off the T-34. Down it goes. Morda getting smashed. The Houts are just tearing these defensive lines apart. Shusha Barrage. Maybe a predictive one. Or maybe that's another creeping barrage. It is indeed. Oh. 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 Man, Sully, three squads down. That was pure carnage in the north. So many losses on both sides. We're we'll getting quite aggressive. Maybe we could get rams. I think I saw a ram winding up there briefly, but it was too close for it to activate properly. Smoking out to safety now. T-34 chasing through. Panther coming back in. Brumbeer getting flanked. A little bit of a traffic jam. Brumbeer does die. A little bit clumsy on the control there for Soma. T-34 also dies, but it's a good trade. Oh boy, and Soma loses the command tank in amongst all that as well. Army sizes, allies are ahead, but not by a monumental amount. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. It just seems like Soma can't really keep up in the late game, though. Control is lacking, suffering a lot of squad wipes. Another squad of Yeglites coming in for Sully. Double Kachusha Barrages. Pies run past it. It's the decoy on the tank gun, but there goes his machine gun. Didn't try to retreat from there at all, just consigned it to death. Kachusha 
punish as well from McDuff, so it was a, a triple whammy there. Another T-34 is able to get these uh, anti-tank guns healthy again. It does mean that Sally not going to have any snares. can be difficult to contain these T-34s without any engine crits on them. It's coming around the long way here, maybe hoping to catch some Kachushas by going in with the Panther. Sneak around the sides, I think. Kind of close to the King Tiger as well, but at the moment it's spotted by the uh, Maxim crew, so the surprise has kind of been spoiled by that. Reboot on the command tank, meanwhile, for Soma, I think is a pretty bad idea. Probably have just gone for the Panther. Does he? He's got tier four down still as well. His coma does have a T34 now. So his command tank's going to struggle. Doesn't have any tank gun to help defend this anymore either. So yeah, command tank a big waste of resources for Soma. Light storms are spotting here. You can see those anti tank guns out the back. Panther working the ranges nicely, but there we go. T34 drive by finds the Werfer again. As I was saying, no units can provide engine crits for Sully. This full command tank missing a couple shots is not quite enough. No, it is. Some death crit there. Thought maybe it just survived because of the. Uh, Weird damage threshold. To defeat. 25 VPs left for the Axis. This is open at the moment, but they don't have any units nearby. And now Sully having to get out of there. Axis throwing the towel. So yeah, commanding start for the Axis. Very good engagements, but man, things fell apart for them in the late game. Soma just as I was saying, I feel like when he spread out across the map, you just constantly u lose units wherever he wasn't focusing. And uh, yeah, just careless losses like that allowed the allies to come back into the game. I think the command tanks, not a good idea either, Espe like, especially the first one. I think, oh, you know, maybe it's not that bad at that early timing, but it wasn't that early of a timing. You remember he did tick up to tier four. Put that down before calling in a command tank. Like, what, what's the point in that? Could have gone for a Brumby, who's pretty much there for the resources instead. And, you know, shortly thereafter, we saw the first T-34 for Coma to counter that command tank. So I think, you know, if you rush it out, get it out really fast, you have delayed your opponent's mediums. So it can do a lot of damage to the infantry before it gets countered by the enemy mediums. It can make sense. Or if you're looking to round your composition now, you've already got like two other tanks getting blasted by rocket artillery, you want that aura from it. it can make sense then as well, but I think at the time that Soma was using it, it didn't really uh, work out. But yeah, I think, you know, there was potential for the comeback. So he made that good push up here with the howitzers, getting a lot of kills, but then boy, he lost like three squads to the rocket artillery, and from that point on, Felt like the Axis couldn't climb their way back into this one. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.